This is the all new Nitrox Linux. Nitrox is a very special Linux distro because basically it's Ubuntu from a parallel universe. Nitrox is a Debian based Linux distro that ships with its homegrown NX desktop environment. Nitrox aims to deliver a unique computing experience by utilizing the power of app images. I've been playing around with Nitrox for some time now and I'm particularly curious to see if Nitrox can replace my daily driver which happens to be Linux Mint and the results are very intriguing. See, Nitrox takes a very different approach to almost everything. The desktop, the software packaging, the underlying technology, everything. So I'm very excited to bring this fantastic distro to you. Let's jump right in and have a look at the user interface, the software scene, the performance, stability, usability and everything in between in the third episode of our ongoing series, Distro Focus, where we dive deep with some of the greatest and some of the underrated Linux distros. Having a good knowledge of Linux commands and being comfortable using the terminal really broadens what you can do with Linux and what kind of experience you are going to get here. So if you're interested in leveling up your Linux game, definitely check out my course Linux Mastery Express, which is the fastest way to learn Linux and start using Linux like a pro. I'll teach you a set of commands that will give you the confidence to use Linux without even a graphical user interface. Then we'll dive deep and learn how to use the vEditor and master shell scripting with real life examples. After teaching more than 100 students in person, I've curated this course with the top things that will level up your Linux skills the fastest. So if you're feeling like your Linux game is stuck in the same spot for too long and you're ready to take your Linux skills to the next level quickly, check out the link in the description below and get your Linux Mastery Express. We are running a massive 45% discount right now, so make use of it. Nitrox features its homegrown NX desktop. Let me open by saying that NX desktop was a bag of mixed reactions for me. The desktop at first look is super clean with a bottom dock and a panel at the top. NX desktop is built using KDE Plasma and you can see Plasma reminiscent elements everywhere. But the workflow here is very different from that of Plasma. You get a full screen application menu here which houses all your installed applications and a search. The next button brings up workspaces. You can use these workspaces to organize your applications based on your work. Then you have your favorite and running applications here and your PC power controls are at the far right. The top panel houses controls and tray icons like your volume controls, connections and the calendar. Nitrox desktop gives you super clean and elegant vibes. The applications here look good and the overall desktop looks very premium at first glance. In Nitrox, the window controls for all open windows are placed on the top left corner of the screen and not the window itself. This reminded me of the old Unity desktop. NX Desktop brings some cool animations when you are switching between windows. I liked this initially, but the more I used Nitrox, I found out that these animations are not really consistent. And it's not just the animations. After spending some time with Nitrox, the desktop felt like it's not a finished product at times. There were freezes now and then and the system felt like it still needed some work to polish it up. But apart from that, NX Desktop is a smooth ride that holds up in the looks department. Nitrox brings something new to the table here and at the same time, there is that simplicity. When you use Nitrox, you'll just know how to get around here. Nitrox takes a very unconventional approach in the software department and that really has a huge impact here. See, most distros have a primary package manager and then bring in a unified package manager on top of that. For example, Ubuntu has apt as the primary package manager and brings snap on top of it. Fedora has RPM and Flatpak. Although unified package managers are getting more spotlight now and the primary package management system is there mainly for the operating system only. You can install most software using snaps and flat packs and they are the preferred way now. Nitrox completely ditches its primary package manager and goes with app images. While Nitrox is based on Debian, once the installation is done, apt is removed from the system and you can't install any software from Debian repositories. Nitrox comes with its own NX software store which lets you install and manage these app images. While I'm familiar with Snap and Flatpak's growing popularity and app population, I was pleasantly surprised to find a good number of applications in this library, although the number is nowhere near that of Snap's or Flatpak's. AppImage is a fantastic format of distributing software on Linux. That is, they are designed to run on any Linux distribution without any sort of installation hassle. This one thing itself is so valuable. App images are also contained in a single file and you don't need root permissions to run them. Also, all the required dependencies are packaged in the same single file. Just make the file executable and run the file to open the application. It couldn't get simpler. These app images run in FireJail sandbox, so there's a very high degree of security here. What I'm trying to say is that app images are amazing. 
It's actually sad that they didn't catch on more. Nitrix uses these app images. As I said, the library is quite good here. I could install all my day-to-day -day audio and video editing software here. Audacity, Kden Live, Blender, it was all here. But I couldn't find my programming stuff here. And with Debian's package manager removed, I couldn't install .deb packages as well and had to install them manually using tar files. So that was inconvenient. But the latest Nitrix brings a solution to that as well in the form of Flatpaks. Yeah, you can install Flatpaks from the terminal here. It's easy to. Just grab the install command from Flathub and run it to install any app you want. Flatpaks are containerized too, so you won't have to worry about security here. In fact, if copy-pasting commands from Flathub is not too much work for you, I would recommend installing all your apps as Flatpaks here. The software store itself is decent. There are a few rough edges here and there and it needs polishing up, but it works. I could easily browse and install all the software I needed here. But yeah, this is app images only. For Flathubs, you'll need to get the download commands from the Flathub website and run the commands in the terminal. Nitrux heavily utilizes apps built using the Movi Kit, which is a modern framework for building convergent cross-platform applications. Now Movi Kit is being actively developed by the Nitrux team itself. Yeah, I told you Nitrux is Ubuntu from a parallel universe. Ubuntu has Flutter, Nitrux has Movi. Pretty much all the pre-installed apps here are created using Movi Kit. The file manager, text editor, the terminal, media player, note-taking app, all these here are created using Movi Kit and have very modern and distinct looks. They go with the dark theme and have an icon tray of categories on the left side. You can see this in all these Maui apps. I think it's a nice look, but the icons could have been bigger and more discernible. Technologically, the Nitrux team maintaining and developing their own UI framework is phenomenal. Nitrux is based on Debian SID and to top it off, it's an immutable Linux distro. Immutable distros are systems whose core itself is read-only and cannot be changed. Yeah, you can install and use containerized applications here, but the core of the system remains unchanged and unchangeable. This brings about an unprecedented kind of stability to the system. Whatever you do, you cannot break these immutable distros and you will have a bootable operating system always. So you can see the appeal of these immutable distros. But these immutable distros can also be difficult for everyday computer users. Sure, in deployment environments and production, immutable distros shine, but for normal users, these can bring inconveniences. This is where Nitrox shines. It has strict guardrails. There's what you can do and there's what you cannot do. Before you even download this distro, I want to make it clear what to expect from Nitrox. The system is immutable. You can install app images from the software store here. You can install flat packs from Flathub and there's even out of the box distro box support. So you can install most applications here, but you won't have access to the system itself. For example, you can't use Gpart in here. From a point of view, Nitrux makes a lot of sense for everyday home computers. All apps run in a sandbox and you get a rock solid, always dependable core system. That definitely sounds good to me. Nitrux gives us out of the box DistroBox support. DistroBox is trending right now. Many new Linux distros like Vanilla OS and Blend OS are built on DistroBox's genius. With DistroBox, you can install any Linux distro inside another Linux distro. Let me explain. DistroBox uses Docker and Podman to create a tightly integrated container inside a Linux distro. Using DistroBox, you can install Ubuntu, Arch Linux, Fedora and another 8 distros in any other Linux distro. You can install apps from those distros here and these apps run and behave just like they are installed on your host system. How smoothly it all works is fantastic actually. So using DistroBox here, you can directly install applications from Ubuntu repositories, Fedora repositories and even Arch user repositories. This requires that you get your hands dirty in the terminal. But still, the whole thing is very very simple and it doesn't overwhelm you with complexity. While Nitrux may start off feeling a little bit limiting, with DistroBox, advanced and intermediate users can spread their wings and use Nitrux in a limitless way. Providing DistroBox out of the box is a great move by Nitrux developers. Nitrux has a problem, and a huge one at that. It is a quality problem. At times, Nitrux doesn't feel like a high quality operating system, rather it feels like something that's barely hanging in there. I can see a well put desktop, a reliable code derived from a solid base, I can see the technology. Nitrux developers know their stuff, they know what they are doing. But I don't know why, all these components don't come together as one coherent system, there's no delivery here. Firstly, it's the installation. Nitrux 3.0 is very hard to install and on multiple computers, it failed to install properly and it didn't provide enough information about what was going wrong. 
If Nitrix is failing to install on all my computers, that's an issue. And it's not just me, many people have complained about this. Then, the NX desktop can be glitchy at times, especially when there are many applications running. I started having problems minimizing and maximizing windows and there were freeze ups. Yeah, the system did become unresponsive at times. Then, Nitrix developers have created all the system apps like the file manager, media players, software store, etc. from the scratch. While I appreciate that, these new applications often feel unpolished. Take the NX software store for example. These categories are hard to discern and there are many placeholder buttons here that just don't do anything. Things like these leave a bad impression. Nitrox has flatpak support but after installing just one application, the system started giving me storage full errors even while I had ample space on my home partition. And I had even used the automatic disk partition option while installing, so this should not have happened. From a finished release, I don't expect these things. Nitrox developers know their stuff, the know-how is there, it is evident. But they need to take a look at the bigger picture, make a list and make changes. Maybe bring flat packs to the forefront, maybe make some design changes to their more wiki tabs. Yeah, there is a need for reflections and revisions in Nitrox. I had been waiting for a really long time to try out Nitrox and make a video on it. It was top priority. When I initially tried out Nitrox, I was quite impressed. I liked what I saw. But as I kept using it, it was slightly underwhelming. While I really like the idea of an immutable distro with containerized apps, Nitrox is not quite there. I think they really need to consider flat packs instead of app images and maybe fix up their installation issues. Nitrox suffers from quality problems and a general lack of direction and a clear aim in what Nitrox wants to achieve, who its target audience is. At the same time, these issues are solvable. They are not big issues. The developers just need to listen to feedback, take a step back, take a clear view of Nitrox and change gears. Nitrox has potential and I hope for it to be more than what it is today. And that's it for me today. Alright, if you enjoyed this deep dive with Nitrox, definitely consider subscribing to the channel and leave me a big thumbs up. And if you're interested in leveling up your Linux skills, the link to my course Linux Mastery Express is given in the description below. It's designed to teach you Linux and take you from zero to hero within the shortest amount of time possible. You'll be using Linux like a pro within a matter of hours, so definitely check that out. Next up, check out this fantastic distro called NixOS. It's unlike anything you have seen it, so absolutely don't miss that. Alright, this is the next text, signing out.